Hey, and welcome to my latest video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to put a clickable link inside of your Facebook stories. Yes, I said that right, a clickable link inside of your Facebook stories. Now, this doesn't cost you any money, so you don't have to pay for ad spend and you don't have to pay for somebody else to do it. You can actually do this with your mobile phone and also your desktop or your laptop. So you do need to have the desktop or laptop open to actually do this method, but you'll be able to view it on your mobile phone. That doesn't really make sense because stories are usually viewed on your mobile phone. However, if you try to do this technique on your mobile phone, it's actually gonna tell you that you can't share links into your stories. However, you can add a link to your Facebook stories if you follow this method from your desktop or your laptop. So like I said, you only need your mobile phone to actually see the story to make sure that it is clickable. Otherwise, everything can be done from your desktop or your laptop. I'm just gonna show you exactly what I mean by sharing a link to your Facebook stories. Okay, so as you can see from my mobile phone, and I've just popped it up here, you can see that I've already created a story today. If I go ahead and click it, you can see it says, check out my video, and it's a thumbnail of a YouTube video. If I go ahead and click it, it's going to say view website. If I go ahead and click view website, it's actually going to open me up on that particular video inside of my YouTube channel. So that's the video that I've just linked from my YouTube channel into my Facebook stories. Okay, so stay tuned right to the end of this video because I'm also going to show you how to share a blog post into your Facebook stories as well so that you can actually drive traffic from Facebook into your own website or another person's website that you want to share their content for. OK, so we're going to move to the desktop or the laptop now, but we will check back on the mobile phone so that I can show you how you can see your clickable link. OK, so the first thing you want to do is go to the YouTube channel where your video is housed. So here I am on my own YouTube channel and I'm just going to scroll down and grab another video. So let's just take this one. Seven content ideas for your Instagram Reels for Business. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. OK, so here we are on the video that I want to share. So what I need to do now is I need to go to the share button option. So go ahead and click share. And then what we need to do is that we don't want to click the copy option. We want to click share directly to Facebook. So go ahead and click share to Facebook. Now, this is going to open up your Facebook profile on the screen. As you can see, this is me. And here it says share to newsfeed or story. If I click that, it's going to give me some other options. So I don't want to do that. I just want to share this to my personal Facebook stories. So here we are inside of Facebook. It's automatically opened up. And as you can see down the bottom, it says share to newsfeed or it says share to your story. So what we need to do, first of all, is we need to click share to your story. And then we need to uncheck newsfeed because I don't want to share this to my newsfeed. I want to share this to my story so that the people can see my story at the top of their newsfeed and click on it and go directly to this YouTube channel. Now, you can add some text to it. So what I usually like to do is to just say, check out my video, click on the image. So I'm just going to type that in. And I usually like to put a little emoji. So I'm just going to put a little pointy hand down. Perfect. OK, so I've tested how many letters you can have before it stops you from posting to stories. Now, I actually got to 255 characters and it still hadn't stopped me from posting to my story. But I just want to give you a little bit of a heads up about adding too much text. If you add too much text to your story, it's going to fill all of the story area with writing and then your picture isn't going to dominate the screen what we want to do in this particular style of story is keep your thumbnail dominating the screen so that people can actually see the clickable area so all i'm going to do is check out my video just click on the image below one thing to remember is that i have my profile set to public because i use it as a business tool i don't always use it as a social tool so if you're using facebook as a business tool as well and you have a facebook business page and you also have your profile then if you're posting to your profile about business or anything business orientated, then you want this to be set to public. You don't want it to be set to friends because then only your friends will see it and you won't share this content across Facebook if it's only set to your friends. Now, obviously, Facebook doesn't really let you or like you from using your profile as a business tool too often, which is why this particular strategy is going to be super, super awesome for you because... This super strategy means that this particular business orientated link is only going to be visible on your profile for 24 hours inside of your Facebook stories. How cool is that? So what I've done just to recap is that I went over to YouTube. So I went over to YouTube over here. I clicked the Facebook option. 
that automatically opened up this window and I went down here and I unticked the news feed, but I ticked the story and I made sure that I was set to public. Then all you need to do is go ahead and click post to Facebook. So go ahead and click post to Facebook and it's going to take you back to the YouTube account, which is where we started off. But inside of your Facebook account, it's actually going to have shared that as a story. So for me to show you that, we need to jump on into my mobile phone. OK, so you can see my mobile phone and I'm also putting it up here on the screen so you can see it bigger. I'm just going to refresh the page so that it brings up the new stories. Then I'm going to click my story again. And here's the one I showed you earlier of how to actually share the link or what, what I was going to show you. And here's the next one. Check out my video. Just click on the image. So I'm going to go ahead and click it. And it says visit website. Go ahead and click visit website. And it's going to open up inside of my YouTube account on that particular video that I just shared for you. How awesome is that? So as a bonus for staying this long into the video, I also want to show you how you can share a blog post. Now, this can be a blog post from your own blog, or it could be a blog post from somewhere where you've been featured. Recently, I was on Digital Confetti, which is one by Stephanie Lowe, and she actually wrote a blog after the live stream. So I'm going to go take you to that blog post and I'm going to show you how I can share that into my Facebook stories. So again, I'm going to share my screen with you. This time I'm going to jump onto the Lights Camera Live website, which is where Stephanie puts her blogs. And as you can see, this is the blog that I want to share. Then what I want to do is because Stephanie's got these sharing options here on the left hand side, I'm going to go ahead and click Facebook. OK, so this time it opened up into like a pop up on the website. And as you can see, it's taken me into Facebook and down here again, it's on newsfeed. So all I need to do is swap that to story and untick the newsfeed. Make sure it's public. And this time, just go ahead and write what the blog's about. So here we go. Again, I'm going to put my little emoji because I like doing those down there. And that means that that's going to encourage people to click that. And then all I need to do is go ahead and click post to Facebook. And it's going to post that to Facebook for me. OK, again, let's jump into my mobile phone so that we can have a little look at that story. So I'm going to share it again up here. So click on my story. These are the ones that I posted earlier on. So let's just flick through these. And here is the blog post that I've just posted. Check out my latest speaker slot with Stephanie Lau and read the how to blog. Again, I'm going to click it and it's going to say visit website. Go ahead and visit the website. And it's actually going to open up the website exactly to the blog post that I've just shared. So there's the video interview that I did. And there's the blog post with all the information about what I did inside of that live stream. How awesome is that? OK, so that's how you share a link to your Facebook stories from anywhere on the Internet, as long as it has that share option. So as long as you can press share and the Facebook little widget pops up, then you should be able to share it into your stories. Remember that you just make sure that you untick the news feed and tick the stories option and you'll be able to share clickable links to your Facebook stories for as often as you wish. If you've loved this video, don't forget to give it the thumbs up. And if you want to learn more about boosting your visibility using not only Facebook marketing, but Instagram marketing and video marketing, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so that you get notified of the next time I upload an awesome video just like this. My name's Anita Wong. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye for now.